Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our tribute run here on Elm Creek. We are almost done rolling out this field. As you can see, there are still rocks on the field. I did reload the save just to see if that would clear them out after I turned off the rocks. I think I tried that once before on another, another map that we have done, but it does not get rid of the rocks. So I will be honest with you, at some point I will just get a little rock picker upper and finish picking up those rocks because they are going to annoy me. <laughs> I don't know why. Visually, they just bother me. So it is what it is. We'll just, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for now, at least we know they're not affecting us at the moment. Uh, we'll let this get finished up. Uh, we do need to go ahead and sell off our uh, clothes. Um, let's see, where are we on the price of clothes? 10, 12, 10, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start fast forwarding. If it does go dark over there, I'm not that worried about it. We've only got a couple passes left of the rolling. I just want to get to a point where we can go ahead and get these sold off uh, before we move on to the next day, which we got about six hours here. Hopefully this gets to a good price here in the next six hours. Is there a chance we'll get another box over here? Um, maybe... I'm not actually looking at it, looking it up to see how, how, how much it is going to be. 10 to 22 or 10 to 21, I should say. It's already dark. Doesn't look like it's going up that fast at all. So I have a feeling it's either about to stop or about. To... Oh, it's actually going down. That's confusing. Well, then never mind. We're going to go ahead and go sell. $51,000, not half bad. You know what wouldn't be a bad idea at some point? Um, let me see, let me come in here. I think we can do this. Uh, if we go to construction, go to center production, selling points. Can we? I mean, we could put another supermarket down somewhere. I just think it would be kind of interesting to have another, you know, possible sell point at some point. Which I guess would be the supermarket. Which isn't that big, to be honest. I'm not going to put it over here because we've already got a big old giant grocery store here. But it'd be kind of cool to have like another little little option to sell stuff at. Again, not sure where I would put it, but we might be able to find a spot. I mean, this one's obviously close to our, our production facility, but, you know, if it was a couple hundred dollars more at some point in time, you know, might be worth it. All right, uh, that is that. How's our guy doing over here? Don't even see him. Oh, there he is, way over there. He just finished up the last pass. He did. Oh, it looks like he re-rolled the cotton. I don't... Thankfully, he's got crop protection turned on, so it didn't destroy anything, but that was a little awkward. All right, that is done, and we can now get rid of the roller. We do not need that anymore. Uh, we do need the sprayer, though. So turn the roller. Keep the sprayer. Which this guy will go pick up here. And then we'll fast forward another month. I think I can technically pay off our entire loan that we used to buy this field, can't I? No, I think I paid, bought a little bit. I think I got a little bit bigger loan just to cover some other uh, bits and pieces. And I don't think we can quite pay the whole thing off. But we're close. And again, I'm not that worried about taking a little bit larger loan. Oh no, I think we are going to be able to pay the whole thing back, aren't we? Yeah, there we go. Backed up to 500000 Not bad. Of course, we'll have to get some more <laughs> next month, but that's all right. 
I mean, as long as we stay close to $500,000, I feel pretty good. But I don't mind buying a little bit extra just to float us a little bit here. And almost in the long term, we might just end up getting more. Just to kind of help us out a little bit. Let me get you off to the other side of the field. Or the other side of the road, I should say. I go get you repaired back up again. Actually, that might be on my next purchase some, at some point. Be getting the little machine shop or whatever. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and fast forward to tomorrow. Is there anything else we needed to do? I don't think so. We just got to weed and fertilize tomorrow and then... That's it until harvest, isn't it? Do you not have any weeds? Oh, wow. Not sure how that <laughs> how that's possible, but we'll take it. Oh, we missed a couple rolling spots. That's all right. Um, oh, do we have fertilizer in this thing? We have fertilizer in this thing anyway, so that's fine. I'm assuming you need fertilizer, uh, which we'll see here. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, you won't because it's soybeans. So no, we're we're done. Oh yeah, okay. And it still may be too much fertilizer to be honest. So we'll we'll see. We need to buy an anti-fertilizer <laughs> spreader. And the sorghum packs in there tight, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get some money here. We'll just borrow a little bit. Borrow like 50k. That'll be fine. No, we're still not quite getting that corner, are we? Just the way this thing wiggles. It kind of throws me off. I actually don't mind this this contraption, this, this uh, sprayer, but... I don't like the wiggle. So interestingly enough, I'm trying to fix this by dropping the fertilizer. And by doing by doing sorghum, I had to put more fertilizer, but I can't it's not gonna use it all though, that's the thing. Obviously the fertilizer's not gonna go nitrogen is not gonna go down to zero. So, I don't know. This may just be permanent sorghum fields at this point. We just may never be able to do... I don't know what we're going to do about this, the, the soybeans. Because the thing is, as long as we continue to plant soybeans, we're not going to be able to get full credit for our environmental score. Which is really silly.
I wonder if something like potatoes or, you know, something like that might just be more draining on the fertilizer. Like some, a root crop, basically. I wonder if, wonder if those are just drain more fertilizer out of the soil. I honestly don't know. Not that I'm planning on doing either of those. That's just not, not part of my, my plans. It's funny, I can see the weeds a little bit better from this top view because of the little sections that get a little bit darker. All right, that is done. Let's go get our herbicide now. Herbicide's going to be hard to see. I mean, I can kind of see, but not really.
Wish it showed up on the mini map so we could actually see it. I'm not sure. I can't really get an angle that's really going to show me very well. I mean, I can kind of see it. Not super well, though. Problem is, I don't think the workers are smart enough to do the weeding with this uh, spread out weeds. I'll try him. See what he can do. I mean, I guess we could always do this. We can always, I mean, if it showed this on the mini map, this would be fine, right? Because um, then I could see kind of where we're at, but I guess we could still use that to some degree. Well, the worker continue doing what it's doing, and then if all I have to do is to do the the row at the end here, then that should be fine. See, now I could see it though. I could see it from this angle, from further out. Honestly, as long as we get most of them, I don't think it's going to matter that much. There's like a, a <laughs> one little speck here or there. Yeah, see, we're missing something there. I'm going to come back and get that in a minute. I just know what, I'm just going to have to run, run down the whole middle section there and just see if I can get some of those little, little bits and bobs because I just, I can kind of see where it's at, but I'm not sure how we missed that. It looks like it would be right, like right where we're going right now. It's just that one. Uh, it might be just because of how I turned around, to be honest.
All right, looks like we're okay. I think we can drive across this field without destroying anything. Oh, we're fine. So I can get GPS on this tractor just so we can <laughs> plan out our paths better. That would that would obviously make it a lot easier. But it's not cheap. All right, looks like we're doing all right. Man, this fertilizer or this herbicide sure lasts a long time with this uh, sporadic weeding method. What if we get credit for this one up here for the weeds? Weed is the third one down. Yeah, we got full credit for the weeds on that one. Nice. All right, we are done. Let's go drop off the herbicide. And turn this thing back in. And check this. We can get us a big bud. <laughs> I'm sure if it's super practical for what we're doing. That is a nice, nice uh, cultivator, though. Oh, sorry, it's a cultivator. It's a weeder. I, I, of course it's a weeder. It says Harrow. Oh, wow. That is a... Ma I mean, we don't need that, obviously, because of what we're... This thing is huge. Again, <laughs> we don't need it, but kind of interesting all right that is that let's turn you back in 
and we're ready guys we're ready to fast forward until harvest time first harvest will be the sorghum here in one two three months so that will be that'll be nice but anyway i do appreciate you guys watching may god bless you and i hope you join me again next time thank you and goodbye I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.